here are some great words. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son hath not life. It's talking about our commitment to the Saviour of the world. He said he came that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. But if you're human, even though you go to church regularly, read your Bible, perhaps you've asked yourself, am I really and truly a true Christian? Can I claim to have Christ? Well, the traditional answer is that if your life reveals faith and hope and love, then you are clearly a Christian. That's a good answer. But I want to give you another one. I want to tell you another way you can be sure whether you really belong to the Son of God or not. Do you pray? Do you pray often, constantly, always? Have you heard of this man, George Mueller, who delighted in God? This book is by Roger Steer. But Mueller wrote his own autobiography called A Million and a Half in Answer to Prayer. In his early years, Mueller was a rascal, a villain, who went to prison for his crimes. But he found Christ, came to England, became a member of the so-called Open Brethren or Plymouth Brethren. He said, oh, that I might find a way to convince the world that God is. And at that time, there were thousands of orphans in England. London street, streets were filled with orphans asking for money and for help. Charles Dickens wrote Oliver Twist because of this problem. And this man, George Mueller, said, I will do something for the orphans in such a way that people may know there is a God who hears prayer, who answers prayer, who does great things. And so this man who began as a rascal and a villain, but who lived to 93, gave his life to the care of thousands of orphans but he never asked anybody for a cent. And a million and a half came in so he could care for thousands of orphans at Ashley Down, Bristol. Miraculously, money came. Sometimes the orphans sat down to a table and there was nothing to eat. Then there'd be a knock at the door. Pastor Dacre, who over-baked his loaves, or some other gift, but they never went hungry, year after year. Orphan house after orphan house was built at Ashley Down till it held 2,000 orphans. This man travelled through Europe, preached thousands of times, was married for about 68 years, two wives predeceased him. He claimed to have had 30,000 answers to direct prayers, answers that came soon or immediately to definite specific prayers, 30,000 of them, a million and a half pounds in answer to prayer. That would be the equivalent today of about 30 million British pounds through prayer alone. If you are a mature Christian, prayer will be as natural to you as breathing. You will not be able to pass one conscious hour without prayer to God. The Bible says, pray without ceasing. It doesn't mean always babbling, but it means always aware of the presence of Jesus, telling him about every burden, confessing every sin. Don't wait till night time to do it. There are too many failures. A mature Christian 
has many answers to prayers, miraculous answers, and the best is yet to come. You can know whether you're a true Christian by whether prayer has become to you like breathing, whether God has answered your prayers as he answered George Mueller, whether God has done great things for him, whether you can trust God now with what seems an uncertain future. If you learn to pray like George Mueller, you can be certain that you belong to God. Absolutely certain. God bless you.